Hello everybody, I would like to do a Wicked review. I saw the movie tonight and I want to talk about my night and the movie. And um, I think it's evident in the movie that um, Galindo wears a lot of pink. So I decided to get my pink satin pillow out. I have a whole bed over there uh, filled with pink. Um that I just got out tonight and in, from inspiration from the movie. And I want to make it clear to anybody that says this got on their feed and it's gay, whatever. I'm not gay. I'm a heterosexual man who likes to cross-dress. I don't go out in public like wearing dresses and stuff and skirts and whatnot and pantyhose. But, you know, I might wear like a pair of panties under my, my men's outfit or I might wear women's leggings out with shorts or something over it if I'm going to go in public. But I am not gay. I'm a, I'm a heterosexual man who is very much attracted to women. Just to uh, get that out of the way. Okay, now let's get to the review. Okay, so every year me and my parents do a holiday movie night. Where we um, usually go in the afternoon to a movie. We pick a time that's good with the, the time of the... How, length, how the length of the movie is. This movie is three hours. So we picked a 2.30 time. But I think the movie might have started a little late. So it didn't start exactly 2.30. A little later than that. We saw Wicked. I absolutely love dancing and singing and all I love musicals so do my parents but I especially do I as a child I always wanted to um maybe take ballet lessons uh now it's kind of like a bucket list thing I want to take um uh like salsa dancing lessons I kind of want to take I, when I was a kid, I wanted to take ballet and I wanted to take um, maybe jazz or something. I always loved dancing and um, was too nervous to, and still am too nervous to actually bite the bullet and actually take the dance classes. So I really just love movies and TV shows with singing and dancing. It really adds to uh, to my enjoyment of, of it. So that being said, um, what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful film. The music was beautiful. The costumes that were on Galinda mostly pink like what I'm wearing here. Like this pink outfit I'm wearing um, here. Like I got this uh, whole pink, pink number on um, with the black socks actually. Which is, you know, it doesn't really go. But uh, it is a cold night tonight. So, uh Gotta get the socks on. So, um, yeah, the costumes were beautiful. Every characters, even the men's costumes and the women's costumes, Elphaba's costume, Galinda's costumes, all of them were really beautiful. The music was just, and I, I, I hear that it's very close, if not very much the same as the Broadway musical, which I uh, wish to someday say, maybe. I'll, I don't know if it's still on Broadway, but I that would be a fun one to say. It's obviously not the original cast that started it all, but if it's still out there somewhere, or if they do it, like, in my area somewhere, I would love to see it. Um, so I really, really enjoyed the, that aspect of it, the um, music and the... Um, and, and and the costumes and the sets were just gorgeous. There were some outdoor scenes with flowers and fields and prairies and mountains. And the actual sets were elaborate and big. They really went the whole nine yards. Um, the dancing along with the singing was really good. The story was really good. Not to give too much away for people that... That, that don't want to see this, but I will put a disclaimer in here that it is kind of spoilerish. Um, uh, I really, really um, thought they made the witch out to me not so bad, and that she only did what she did because the Jeff Goldblum um, wizard, the Wizard of Oz was kind of evil, and so was the uh, Michelle Yao character, and that they were kind of 
manipulating her the whole time. Um, and if you will, they turned her evil and, um, by, uh, doing bad things like enslaving animals and she loved animals and, um, there was actually a scene where she turned uh, these monkeys uh, who were guards into the flying monkeys and she felt remorse at the fact that they felt pain and that she did that and she felt bad about it even though they told her to do it. And then they turned turned it around like she was the bad one and said she was a witch and everything. So she, they kind of made her into the evil character that she was. And she was just kind of fighting back. And her and Galinda were actually friends. They became friends. So it was kind of like she had to decide, Galinda, in the end, is this something I want to do too? Do I want to turn my back on Oz and, and the great Oz? Or do I... And, and in the end, she decided she's going to um, uh, stick with, with the Ozians and... Um, just so many callbacks to um, the regular, the original Wizard of Oz, shall I say. Um, I don't know. This was based on a book, but not by the original, what was it, Frank M. Baum, or whatever you say it. It's not, like, by him. It's by somebody else. It was a later book that was done later on. And But it was, my sister read the book and really liked it, and she saw the movie and really liked it, and she's going to see it a second time. Uh, just noteworthy things. Um, a lot of people are really praising the the girl that played Elphaba, and she did a really good job, I'm not gonna lie. But I had my doubts about, not so much the singing end of it, because you know that, um, that Ariana Grande is, um, is, you know, a singer, but I didn't know she could act and she came off as her character as this stuck up bitch basically who like wanted everything done for her uh thought she deserved everything in the world uh everything and the world and and then some and you know she kind of came around in the end she kind of became friends with Alphaba, but um the acting, the portraying that that stuck up bitch kind of character was, I thought really really good. I I, I can't wait to see where, um, where Grande goes with this. So, and I gotta say, I am a huge Ariana Grande fan. Um, always have been. I think she's really pretty. I think she's beautiful. I have a little bit of a crush on her, I might say. Um, I love the fact that I used to love that little ponytail action she had going on with the high ponytail. I don't know if she still does that. But um, she's just so beautiful and cute. And I found out her real name is um, Ariana Butera. She's a Italian, like me. I'm Italian as well, Italian and Sicilian. And she's an Italian from... Uh, uh, Boca Raton, Florida. I'm not from Florida, but I live in Florida for now nine years on the West Coast. So she's on the East Coast. I'm on the, she was on the East Coast. I'm on the West Coast. I really, really like her. I think she's really pretty. I just put her a picture of her on my desktop wallpaper. I don't know how new it is. It looks fairly new. She's got the blonde hair and everything and the high ponytail. I don't know how recent that is or whether she's going with that hairstyle anymore. But um, yeah, I have a crush on Ariana Grande and it, it was part of the reason I wanted to see this movie to be honest with you. Just to see her, her just her beautiful smile and her uh, beautiful eyes and beautiful face and just, she's cute. She's really cute. And um, really liked her in the movie. Her acting was great. Alpha was acting was great. Obviously, one of my favorite actors of all time. Um, Jeff Goldblum did a wonderful job in this. Michelle Yao did a wonderful job in this. I really like her in Star Trek. And everything, every there, everything everywhere all at once. And um, she was really good in American Born Chinese. The show on... Um, on uh, Disney Plus, which um, didn't make it, a, it past the season, which I'm very upset about. Um, but 
um, the kid from that, uh, Ben Wong, is going to be in the, is in the new Karate Kid movie that comes out next year in May. So we got at the after they they air um, um, the last five episodes, I think, in it starts uh, of Cobra Kai in uh, season. We're in season six. Last five episodes are February thirteenth, starting. So um, anyway. So our night was great. We saw the movie. Really enjoyed it. It was crowded. It was really crowded. It's a Tuesday when I'm doing this video. I don't know. I think when it's going to come out. So it was really, really crowded. Mostly old people. But there were like maybe a few younger people than me or around my age. Um, but most of the people were like senior citizens because I live in Florida after all. And afterwards we went to this great um, place, Cody's Roadhouse Bar and Grill. It was practically empty because um, it's Tuesday. And... Um, malls were practically empty now and restaurants and malls and stuff, but it was really good. Um, it was actually a, a cold night for us, um, in the fifties. Um, so a 50 degree, uh, range, which for us, we've lived down here are, what happens is you get this layer of fat up North. So when you come down South, I, I grew up in Maryland and, 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 and New York, mostly Maryland, and you grow this layer of fat that, um, when you come down South, you lose that. And so like 55 degrees about and 50 in the fifties is actually cold to us. Um, this morning I woke up, it was 45 degrees Fahrenheit. So that was pretty cold to us. So we were pretty, I was pretty chilly. I bundled up in some blankets. I was going to watch ASMR. I was nervous, um, about some banking I had to do, um, which everything worked out fine in the end. Um, I did a money transfer, apparently. I didn't know you could do that. I, I really wanted to just take the money out and put it into my dad's account, but we did a money transfer, and apparently I did it, like, $500, so I had to sign something for it, because something of that size and money has to be signed for. So, everything worked out great, but I was really nervous about it, so I woke up early today, and I thought... I thought I'd watch some ASMR, so I bundled up into the blankets and just fell asleep before I could even put on ASMR. And um, then my mom woke up and found me sleeping in the chair. And eventually, I woke up and had breakfast and got ready for the day and went to the bank and did all my stuff. And um, I treated my parents to the tickets for the movie. Um, they treated for popcorn and soda. And all that good stuff. And I wanted to show you. They did not have Regal cups. They had these. Which I'm now drinking an unsweet iced tea out of. These were the only cups they really had. They're plastic. So we decided what the hell. Why not keep them. So we got two of those cups basically. Put that back so it doesn't fall. So we got two of those cups, and uh, I, I like to drink out of big cups like that. It's really, really good. The only bad thing is after like one of those, I gotta go to the bathroom like really fast. So yeah, really fun night. Really good movie. I highly recommend it. Um, I'm gonna give this a five out of five. I usually don't do that, but this was just such a beautiful film. I'm get, I'm giving Wicked a five out of a five. And by the way, for dinner, I had, they have great quesadillas. I had steak quesadillas. Comes with all the good stuff on the side, all the tomatoes, um, all that good stuff. The onions, all that good stuff. And um, spices and sour cream and guac. You have to ask for extra, which I did. Because how could you not have quesadillas without guacamole? I mean, come on, people. That is, like, a given. Why do they even, like, make you ask for it? That kind of pisses me off. They also have really good burgers and a really good salad you can get on the side of your meal. Or you can get... And the salad is um, bottomless. Uh, so the whole fish table could share it. And um, did I say the name of the place? Cody's Roadhouse Bar and Grill. Yes, I think I did. And... Um, it was, I, glad I brought my hoodie. I brought my, uh, ASMR glow hoodie. Um, which I will not tag her in this video because I'm wearing this. 
And I don't think she would really like that if I tagged her in the video. I think she would find it weird. She would probably like not want anything to do with me if she found out I was a cross-dresser. She would probably think I'm some kind of a weirdo or something. I don't know. Maybe not. But I wouldn't want to find out. So I think I stupidly tagged her in a video like this. And I was like, oh god, I can't believe I did that. Now she's gonna know. Oh, she knows I'm a cross-dresser. So, um... Basically, great movie. Five out of a five. Defi definitely a five out of a five. My dad said, oh, it was slow in the middle. Okay, maybe a little bit, but there was at least song and dance going on. I mean, that's something, you know? I mean, there was song and dance throughout. It was really, really good. Really, really entertaining. And dinner was great. The quesadilla was great. They also have good hamburgers. And uh, French onion soup is just right there man right there and um my mom doesn't like the mashed potatoes because they're like instant mashed potatoes but whatever they get good ratings online so i don't know i i, I don't know i don't mind instant mashed potatoes personally if that's what they're gonna give so uh anyway great night great night great movie five out of a five for this movie it really packed the punch I highly recommend it, people. If you haven't seen Wicked, go see it. Don't wait for it to come out on digital or Blu-ray or whatever. Go see it. You get to love it. If you like musicals, if you like just beautiful films, fun films, you know, if the trailers look good to you, go see this. You get to love it. Or even if you didn't like the trailers, but you like the idea of the film. Go see it. You're going to love it. Everybody, because this was my holiday film and movie with my parents, may the force be with you. God bless and happy holidays, whatever you may celebrate. Thank you, everybody. I love you all. And thank you for subscribing and for watching.